Hi everyone, uh, Tracy here, uh, T Nappy on Twitter. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how you can track tweets using TweetGrid, which is a web-based interface that allows you to uh, track different conversations, ha hashtags, um, and everything on their web-based interface instead of using downloading um, an app like TweetDeck, for example. Um, here I am at TweetGrid.com and you will see they give you some options as to um, how many little windows that you would like to use to track. Um, I'm going to pick, oh, I don't know, I'm just going to go the one by 3 and I click that and by default it's going to give you um, all activity on Twitter over here to the left. So that's all tweets and, t and everything coming in on Twitter right there. And then I'm going to enter in my Twitter ID right here. And I'm going to click search. And that's going to put in everything coming in to me. And then if I want to, I'm going to put in um, a hashtag over here, top conservatives on Twitter. I can put that over there and put that over there and that's going to put um, all the tweets coming in that have that particular hashtag in it. Now if you remember when I, um, back on the first page you could have several different windows you could enter in any hashtag you want. If I wanted to take out this Twitter activity and put in um, another hashtag um, a, a keyword phrase or anything I can come here and track those conversations from this um, web interface. Um, and the only thing that it doesn't do is it doesn't let you log in and track your real-time um, followers directly like it does from um, like your Twitter website. So it's not necessarily going to track all the conversations um, of your followers and your tweet stream directly. It's only going to follow all of those coming in directly either to everything on Twitter or those directly to you because it's not allowing you to log into your Twitter account um, but it is going to allow you to get all your replies um, and it's going to allow you to search by you know um, hashtags or search parameters or anything like that. So something like this is really nice if you're doing a tweet up um, or if you just want to come here and um, follow particular conversations um, or hashtags or anything like that. And the cool thing about this is like if you're doing a tweet up or you're following conversations it'll allow you to save this particular um, um, it, set up like my you know with you know just as I have it here you can create um, a shortened URL for this and I could even tweet this um, just like this and it's going to send it just as I have it um, to my tweet stream so that others would be able to come to this page and see this exact page as I have it set up which is really awesome if you're going to do a tweet up and you want other people to come and follow the conversation just as you have it set up with all your various windows and all that sort of thing so kinda handy if you're you know following different groups or, or conversations or anything like that so just another way for you to um, track conversations on Twitter kind of help keep it organized a little bit and uh, just you know something um, interesting that perhaps you didn't know so if you have any more questions um, give me uh, a shout out at my uh, web URL at the end of this video or tweet me on Twitter thanks